Gazetta goes with the arrival of Captain America. Oh, uh, meanwhile, uh, elsewhere, it's the Pulisic for Il Diavolo. What? Or, or for the Diavolo. De no, Diavolo. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> the Devils. Uh, it looks like he is on the brink then of making that move from Chelsea to Milan. For more on this, let's welcome in, shall we? Uh, Nadia Manura is with us, as is uh, Nikki Bandini. Uh, Nikki, let's start with you. How close are we to getting this done? I, I feel like if Gab was here, he'd definitely tell you well for that Diavolo. That you don't need to overemphasize the O that much, Dan. Oh, don't uh, don't channel your inner Gab. No one needs that in their lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's, it's very close to being done. And I think it's a good deal for everyone, honestly. I think Pulisic, obviously, after that time at Chelsea, where perhaps after such a bright start under Tuchel, it didn't quite go everywhere that you thought it could and, and, and sort of carry on with that momentum he had in his first season. I think to go somewhere where he's almost certainly going to start every game that he's fit um, is perfect. Milan have been crying out for some alternative attacking weapons to go with Rafael Leal. They still really need another number nine who can um, alternate at least with Giroud as Giroud gets up in years. But I think Pulisic has got a couple of nice spots for him um, behind the attack, whether it's the number 10 role, whether it's off that right wing. I think in, in any of them, um, he's going to have lots and lots of opportunities in this team. That's interesting, Nicky, bring up the fact that he will start because mm. former US international Landon Donnan speaking about what he would have suggested Christian Pulisic should have done. He said, bring him here. Pay whatever you have to pay. Bring an American superstar who has global recognition back to MLS ahead of the World Cup. I think it would have been a great move, and I can hear the Twitterverse going crazy. Oh. My biggest thing is that he needs to play. I know we all said when he went to Chelsea he's going to play a lot. He didn't play a lot, especially last year. At Milan, I think he's going to play a lot, but you just don't know. So leading into the World Cup, what if he spends the last six months <laughs> leaning into 2026 like he did this year? Then what happens? He's not playing a lot. He's not in good form going into the World Cup. How much sleep have you lost about this over the last couple of weeks, Ali? About whether or not Pulisic <laughs> will have enough form going into the 2026 World Cup? <laughs> Zero <laughs> point <laughs> zero <laughs> zero. <laughs> First of all, it's 2023. It mm -hmm. let, let, let's just start there. Right. 2023. That'd be a long holiday. <laughs> <laughs> World Cup is in 2026, and so therefore this conversation seems useless, certainly coming from Landon Donovan's perspective, because whatever happened to just fighting for your spot, whatever happened to proving your worth in a team and playing so well that you become a no-doubt starter, that you become an impactful player, that you become the guy that Milan looks to be a game-changer. Whatever happened to believing that Christian Pulisic has the talent to indeed have that sort of impact at Milan? Because at some point, we thought of Christian Pulisic as the heir apparent, as the guy who was going to be the flag bearer for the United States of America, Captain America. Well, if, that, if he's that guy, then whatever happened to just being able to fight your way through some adversity and finding your way on the field and staying on the field because you have earned the trust of the manager, because your productivity demands that you stay on the field. That's what you should be doing. That's how you become a better player for the United States and a more impactful player for the United States leading into the World Cup is by being an impactful player for your club team. If you can't do that, and then the escape clause becomes, or the escape path becomes, go back to MLS, then that sounds a lot like what Landon Donovan did back in the day. He took that path. And it's his choice, and I'm not gonna criticize it, because it worked out for him just fine. But I think the ceiling for Christian Pulisic is higher than it was for Landon Donovan at his prime. And so I think Christian Pulisic can demand more from himself. And demanding more from himself includes being able to find a place, consistent place, on the field with Milan. I think that's a key phrase here, find, demanding more of yourself. Listen, as a player to develop, to continue to develop, um, you have to find that level. You have to find the level that pushes you to be a better player, to be a better leader, whatever is asked of you. And as much as playing for a club like Chelsea, which may be above your level at that moment, is no good to you playing at a level that is considerably below where you aspire to be. I don't think it's, 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 it's helpful at all either. So coming to MLS, for me, does not make Christian Pulisic the best version of himself as a football player. Landon Donovan is right in that he'll get minutes, the American public will love it, he'll be able to do whatever he wants in this league, 
but I do not think he advances any at all. Aside from which, if you're Christian Pulisic and your experiences in Europe have been Dortmund, where certainly in the latter stages you've not played, mm. it's been Chelsea, similar, and then all of a sudden you go back to MLS, you stay there till 2026, you're 27 years old at that point, I, I don't think the door is open to bring you back to, to European football, certainly not in any kind of a, a, a meaningful basis. So it makes less and less sense the more you kind of dig into, into Landon Donovan's statement. Christian Pulisic needs to find that right level. Let's hope, for his sake, that that right level is AC Milan. If not, there are other options. A whole lot more options between that and finding yourself back in Major League Soccer. Do you agree with any comments that Landon Donovan made, Naden? Um... Respectfully, no. <laughs> None whatsoever. You don't have to say respectfully, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'll just say no. Absolutely not. I think it's a ridiculous thing for him to say. I, I think that the fact that he's talking about Pulisic coming just to the MLS, like we all know there's parity in the league, but not all, all the teams are the same. You know, you can have a far different experience at a team that's pushing at the top of the league compared to one that's down at the bottom that's losing every single week. So you want him to just be there, basically to help your marketing across the next three years, to get people to buy tickets to go to the grand event. I think it's missing the points, missing the picture. Like, this is a guy who's 24 years of age. who's had a down year, you could say, possibly two. But he's got a chance to go and play for a team like AC Milan, a team that was in the latter rounds of the Champions League just this season gone. That's an exciting move for a young player. What a chance to sort of make amends for what came before. And again, you know, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can be. Taking a step to the MLS, to MLS at this point, it's, no, it's ridiculous. And then the fact you're even mentioning the World Cup, I have to think to myself when, when you're reading the quote. So it's 2026. So at this stage, we're not even talking about, say, all the Europeans and the Euros next summer. We're talking about the World Cup in three years' time. Yeah, I, I think it's a ludicrous thing. I think I, maybe I need to watch the video back to see if there's any real context, but those words alone by themselves, they make zero sense. And I think it's going to be a good move for Pulisic, and I hope he does well over in Milan. As we say, it looks like it will happen, Nicky, but he's going to a club that's very much in transition at the moment. Is now a good time to be joining Milan. Um, it's definitely a mixed bag. Uh, obviously, the, the sort of headline this summer is Paolo Maldini leaving and the conversation that happens between Maldini and the owners, Capinale, and, and, and where the sort of direction of the club is going is, is this big question. And uh, part of the sort of suggested reason for Maldini leaving, what we've heard, not quite from the horse's mouth yet, but certainly from people around the situation, is that Maldini didn't feel like the project was pushing on. It wasn't going from, we've just been the Champions League semi-final to how do we keep doing this? How do we keep competing in Europe? It was going to a place of, well, okay, we're going to be pragmatic. We're going to sell players at high values and keep bringing in young players that we think we can continue to, to add value to and, and sell for more money. And that, I can see some people looking at and saying, oh, is that a good club to join? Is that a club that's got ambition? But actually, I think for Pulisic, it's, it's a perfect club right now because the other part of that is they are very good at adding value to players because they help young players to get better. And it feels crazy to talk about Pulisic as a young player when he's been at Dortmund, been in the Premier League for four years, but he is still only 24. And look at the work Stefano Pioli, the manager specifically, has done. And, and like I've spoken to Pioli, and I know as a manager, he thinks that man management part of it, the working with individuals, is the biggest part of his job. Look at the players he's improved. Rafael Leao, unquestionably a better player than he was. Sandro Tonali, who's going to Newcastle this summer for 80 million euros, was barely sort of able to keep a keep the transfer to Milan happening when he first came on loan there for a year. But in two years under Purely, has got better and better. Fikayo Tomori, Tiao alongside him in defence. This is a club and a manager that really have nurtured and brought on talent. I think it's a really good landing spot for him personally. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.